Today, God speaks directly to you. Beloved child, it's with boundless love that I bring forth this unique message. I urge you not to overlook it and stay with me till the end, lest the gates of prosperity and abundance shut completely. You're about to witness a significant uplift in your financial well-being. Trust in me. Follow the paths I lay before you, and wealth will flow into your life, erasing all your worries. Those around you will wonder how you received such a massive blessing, and you'll say with humility and joy, it was God, my God blessed me. This will be a chance to showcase my love and power, demonstrating how faith and dedication to my teachings can lead to prosperity and well-being. Like this video if you believe God is the catalyst for change in your life. I'm sending blessings your way that will bring happiness, good health, and prosperity beyond your imagination. Be ready to receive them with faith and gratitude, for my love and care for you are endless. The era of scarcity is over. I've seen your struggles and trials, and now it's time to reap the rewards of your perseverance. Write 1010 to claim heaven's providence. God says, know that opportunity will knock on your door. I am preparing paths for you, and soon, a life-changing opportunity will present itself. Your debts will be cleared, and the financial burden that torments you will be eased. Your bills will be fully paid, and you'll experience a fresh financial breath. Those who spend with generosity and compassion will see their efforts doubly rewarded, for as a river flows abundantly, so too will your bank account. The law of harvest is in effect, and every seed of kindness planted will multiply into fruits of prosperity. Write 1111 to activate with all your faith. I have the power to radically change your life, taking you from financial struggle and sleepless nights to wealth and abundance. This year will still be the best for you and your family, filled with happiness, miraculous healings, and endless money. I am the God of miracles, embracing your difficult moments and transforming them into light and hope. I am always by your side, guiding your steps with love and affection, and wrapping you in my protective arms. You are precious to me, and my heart fills with joy seeing your journey. No distance or circumstance can shake our bond, for my love is eternal, unshakable. In the darkest nights, remember that I'm there, lighting your way with stars of hope. And as you awaken to each new day, feel my presence fill your heart with the assurance that you are never alone. Trust in me, dear child, for I love you beyond all measure. There is no obstacle we cannot face together. Let me be your refuge, your stronghold, and you'll see how together. All adversities. Write, I love God, to affirm, 333. In the coming days, I will make financial blessings triple. Be open-hearted to receive this amplified generosity and prepare for a period of prosperity that will ease the weight of your financial worries and provide resources to settle your debts. Write, 333, to claim the divine providence of the Lord. Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Beloved, today we delve into the profound message in the book of Isaiah. In this verse, we find an encouraging promise that inspires us to renew our strength in God, even amidst life's most challenging circumstances. Isaiah, God's prophet, invites us to look to the Lord as our inexhaustible source. He tells us, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. What an extraordinary and hopeful promise. Life often places us in situations that exhaust us and make us feel weak. We may face adversity, struggles, discouragement, and uncertainties. However, God's word assures us that those who put their hope and trust in him will be renewed, invigorated, and strengthened. Just as eagles majestically soar in the skies, God grants us the ability to rise above the problems that surround us. He gives us the capacity to see beyond difficulties, to reach unimaginable heights, and to gain a heavenly perspective amid earthly matters. While we wait on God, our strength is continually renewed. We can run with perseverance without giving up because we know He sustains us at every step. The journey may be tough, but we do not tire because the Lord is our energy, our inspiration, and our motivation. However, it's important to remember that the promise is not for those who rely on themselves but for those who hope in the Lord. It's in surrendering our fates to Him that we find true strength and endurance. With this in mind, I invite each one of us to cast our anxieties and worries onto the Lord, to rest in His grace, and to wait confidently in His power. When we place our trust in Him, we are empowered to soar like eagles, to run without faltering, and to walk without losing heart, because this promise is a reminder that in God, we find the renewal we desperately need. Let us live with hope and boldness, knowing that those who wait on the Lord will always find new strength to proceed on their paths. Write God is trust to receive the word and remain resilient. God continues, Trust in my timing, for I am always working behind the scenes, preparing miracles in your favor. 
Feel the heartbeat of my loving presence, for I am your God, the one who created you with love and tenderness, and who will take care of you for the rest of your life. Every moment, I am weaving with starlight the invisible threads of protection and blessings around you. Even when paths seem uncertain and answers slow to come, know that I am working quietly, preparing the best for you. Trust in my care, for I am the God who knows every detail of your life. I see your hidden tears, hear your deepest prayers, and know your most intimate desires. Look how amazing, the Lord is already acting. Doors to success, good health, and prosperity are opening for you, for I, your God, will shower you with blessings and miracles that will change your life like never before. See into your heart, your hopes, and dreams, I am ready to pour upon you a flood of blessings that will transform your life in astonishing, extraordinary ways. Prepare to witness the supernatural at work in your journey. Obstacles will be overcome, barriers will fall, and the impossible will be reached, for my power knows no limits. I am the God who makes the desert bloom, who turns pain into healing, and who brings joy in times of sorrow. Nothing is impossible for me. I am actively moving heaven and earth to manifest the best in your life. Repeat this prayer with me. Beloved God, today I approach you with a heart full of emotion and hope, acknowledging that you are the Almighty God, the one who has the power to open the doors of prosperity in my life. Heavenly Father, I ask that you extend your hand over me and bless my path. You know every desire of my heart, and I know that you wish the best for me. Help me to trust fully in your plan for my life, even when challenges seem insurmountable. At this moment, I lay all my worries and anxieties in your hands, asking you to remove the obstacles that have prevented me from prospering and from achieving all that you have reserved for me. O oh God, open the doors of prosperity in all areas of my life. May I prosper in my health, in my relationships, in my professional and financial life. May your grace and favor accompany me at every step I take. Romans 10 verse 17 tells us, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. Faith, beloved, is the foundation of our spiritual journey. It is the light that guides our steps in the darkness, the hope that sustains us in hard times, and the strength that drives us to continue even when everything seems against us. And this wonderful faith is not something we can generate on our own, it doesn't spring out of nothing. It has a divine source, and that source is the Word of God. Today, I want to talk about the importance of nurturing our faith with the Word of God. The Bible, my friends, is much more than just a book, it is the living revelation of God's love for us, the manual for life, the message of hope and salvation. When we listen to this word, when we welcome it into our hearts, something extraordinary happens, faith blooms. Have you ever felt weak in faith? Have you faced challenges that seemed insurmountable? I know we all go through these moments. But the good news is that God has given us a way to strengthen our faith, and that way is through hearing His word. When we read the Bible, listen to the preaching of the word, and meditate on it, the Word of God acts like a remedy for our souls, like spiritual nourishment that sustains us. It reminds us of God's promises, reveals His unconditional love for us, and shows us the path to salvation through Jesus Christ. And, my dear friends, it is through this faith that we can face life's challenges with courage and hope. When life strikes us with difficulties, when doubts and fears try to shake us, remember this precious truth, faith comes by hearing the Word of God. No matter the size of the challenge you're facing today, no matter how impossible it may seem, remember that God's Word is more powerful than any circumstance. Therefore, immerse yourself in the Bible, participate actively in sermons and Bible studies. It is through this Word that your faith will be strengthened, and you'll be able to face all adversities with confidence, knowing God is by your side. Write, I have faith in God, to affirm and receive the Word. The tides of fortune will bend in your presence, bringing unimaginable riches to your feet. With each sunrise, your prosperity will grow and multiply like a lush garden nurtured by divine nature itself. On this path guided by providence, the doors to opulence will open, and you will be blessed with heavenly treasures. No battle will be necessary, for the universe conspires in your favor. Your financial decisions will be guided by ancient wisdom, leading to sacred investments and blessed ventures. Gratitude and sharing with generosity, write 9.99 to activate. Today, I bring you a heartfelt plea, for the Lord's blessings and miracles await you. In His infinite grace, He longs to envelop you with love and kindness, but to reach such divine gifts, you must take the first step. Repent your sins and accept Jesus into your life. Allow the light of Christ to illuminate your path, washing away your errors and sins with His mercy. The Lord stands with open arms. By accepting Jesus as your Savior, you will find unparalleled peace and the solace of knowing you are never alone in your struggles. Your wounds will heal, and a new hope will emerge. Know that God's love knows no bounds, and His grace is plentiful. 
By surrendering to his love, you will open doors to the most extraordinary blessings in all areas of your life, including financial. Don't miss this opportunity to receive the miracles that the Lord has prepared for you. Open your heart, confess your sins, and ask for his forgiveness. Accept Jesus as your guide and protector, and witness how he will transform your life astonishingly. Minutes of wisdom for you today, do not be discouraged. Learn to start and restart. Do not be dragged down by indifference. If you fall, stand up and begin anew. If you cannot dominate, never despair. You may arrive at the end of the struggle full of scars, but these will shine like lights before the all-compassionate Father. I am sure you will come out rejuvenated after the Lord's exhortation today. Do not forget to like this video, share it with loved ones, and especially comment. By doing so, you will spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and be richly blessed. Let's move to the eagerly awaited prayer, the final invocation. Beloved God, the infinite source of grace and mercy, I come humbly to thank you for all the financial miracles you have blessed my life with. I feel your presence at every moment, guiding me, sustaining me in the most challenging times. You are my loving Father, always compassionate, never abandoning me, and for this, I praise and thank you. With overflowing gratitude, I recognize your generous blessings that have multiplied my resources and allowed me to walk securely towards prosperity. I know it is your divine hand that leads my steps and directs me to paths that lead to financial growth. In times of uncertainty, you are my refuge, in difficulties, my stronghold. By your faithfulness, I always find strength to face the challenges life presents, and by your grace, I know even greater blessings are reserved for me in the future. God of compassion, I also thank you for the wisdom you have bestowed upon me, allowing me to make conscious and prudent financial decisions. May I always use these resources wisely, sharing generously and helping those in need. My loving Father, I thank you for being faithful even when I do not deserve it. For you are the light that guides my path, the hope that sustains me, and the inexhaustible source. May my life always be an expression of gratitude, praise, and dedication to you, O kind God. And may I always remember that everything I receive is the fruit of your generosity and unconditional love. May your grace continue to pour over me, blessing every aspect of my life, including my financial journey. Following your teachings and your will, may I be an instrument of your light in the world, spreading love, compassion, and solidarity to all who cross my path. For all this and for everything that is yet to come, I thank you, my beloved God. Amen. The promise of renewal and hope. Let this message serve not just as words, but as a beacon guiding us towards a deeper connection with the divine, illuminating our paths with grace and wisdom. In the fabric of our daily lives, where challenges loom large and the weight of the world often presses down on our shoulders, it's easy to feel lost or overwhelmed. Yet, it's precisely in these moments that the divine whispers of potential and strength become most evident. God's message is not just about spiritual prosperity but encompasses all facets of our existence, including our financial journeys and personal well-being. The narrative of divine intervention is not confined to the pages of sacred texts, it unfolds in the lives of those who dare to believe, to hope, and to trust in the unseen. The essence of faith is not found in the absence of doubt but in the persistence of belief despite the questions that may arise. It's a beacon that shines through the fog of uncertainty, a steadfast anchor in the tumultuous seas of life. Faith is the assurance that even when the night is at its darkest, the dawn is on its horizon. It's the conviction that with each step taken in trust, the path becomes clearer, and the journey, more meaningful. As we navigate the complexities of our lives, let us remember that we are not solitary travelers. We are accompanied by a presence that transcends the boundaries of time and space, a presence that offers guidance, strength, and comfort. This divine companionship invites us to cast aside our fears and to embrace the possibilities that lie ahead with open hearts and minds. It beckons us to view each challenge as an opportunity for growth and each obstacle as a stepping stone to greater heights. The journey of faith is a journey of transformation. It calls us to shed the layers of doubt and insecurity that have held us back, to emerge renewed and strengthened by the trials we have faced. This transformation is not merely a change in circumstances but a shift in perspective, a reawakening to the wonder and beauty that surround us. It's a. In this spirit of transformation and renewal, let us approach each day with a sense of purpose and intention. Let us be mindful of the words we speak, the thoughts we entertain, and the actions we undertake. For in these, we have the power to shape our reality, to influence the world around us, and to contribute to a collective narrative of hope and resilience. As we affirm our faith and trust in the divine, let us also commit to being agents of change in our communities. Let our lives reflect the principles of compassion, generosity, and unconditional love that are at the heart of the divine message. Let us be sources of light in the darkness, offering hope to those who are struggling, and extending a hand to those in need. 
In closing, let this message be a call to action, a reminder that we are co-creators of our reality and partners in the unfolding story of the divine. May we move forward with courage, guided by faith and inspired by the endless possibilities that await us. Together, let us build a future marked by love, peace, and prosperity, a future where every individual can experience the abundance and joy that is their divine right. Remember, in every whisper of the wind, in every rustle of leaves, and in every ray of sunlight, there is a message of love and assurance from the divine. You are never alone, for the presence of God is with you always, guiding, supporting, and loving you in every step of your journey. May this message resonate within you, bringing peace, hope, and an unwavering faith in the power of transformation. May you be blessed abundantly in all areas of your life, and may your heart be filled with gratitude for the journey and excitement for the wonders yet to unfold. Amen. Embracing this journey of faith and transformation requires us to not only listen and receive but also to act and embody the principles we hold dear. As we step into each day, let us do so with the resolve to live out our beliefs in tangible, impactful ways. The divine call to love and serve isn't confined to moments of meditation or prayer, it is a call to action that permeates every aspect of our lives. Consider the power of kindness in its simplest forms, a word of encouragement, a gesture of compassion, or an act of generosity. These are not merely acts of goodwill, they are expressions of the divine love that flows through us. They are reminders to those around us that they are seen, valued, and loved. In a world where despair and disconnection can take hold, such acts become beacons of hope and bridges to understanding. The journey towards a more prosperous life, be it in health, relationships, or finances, is underpinned by our willingness to give as much as we receive. The divine economy of abundance operates on the principle of flow. The more we channel blessings outward, the more we open ourselves to receive. This is not a transactional relationship but a transformational one, where giving and receiving become one and the same, reflecting the infinite generosity of the divine. As we contemplate our place in this divine flow, let us also consider the power of gratitude. Gratitude is the lens through which we can view our lives, not as a series of challenges to be overcome, but as a tapestry of experiences rich with opportunity and meaning. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we possess, from scarcity to abundance. In the practice of gratitude, we find ourselves more attuned to the divine presence in our lives, recognizing that every moment, every breath, is a gift. This sense of gratitude propels us forward, urging us to live our lives in service to something greater than ourselves. It challenges us to ask, how can I contribute? How can I make a difference? In answering these questions, we align our actions with our highest ideals, becoming instruments of divine will. Through service, we find our purpose, and in purpose, we find fulfillment. Yet, the path of service and transformation is not without its trials. There will be moments of doubt, periods of struggle, and times when the way forward seems unclear. In these moments, it is faith that sustains us, a faith not just in a higher power, but in ourselves and in the journey. It is a faith that recognizes that growth often comes through hardship, and that resilience is forged in the fire of adversity. In facing these trials, let us draw strength from the divine promise of renewal and hope. Let us remember that we are not alone, that we are supported by a love that knows no bounds, a love that can move mountains and bridge the vastest of divides. With this knowledge, let us face the challenges of life not as burdens, but as opportunities to deepen our faith, to grow in spirit, and to expand our capacity for love. In the end, the journey of faith and transformation is about coming home to ourselves and to the divine. It is about recognizing our inherent worth and the indelible connection we share with all of creation. It is a journey that invites us to shed the layers of fear and doubt that have obscured our true nature, revealing the luminous beings we were always meant to be. As we move forward on this path, let us do so with open hearts and minds, ready to receive the blessings that await us, and eager to share those blessings with the world. Let our lives be a testament to the transformative power of faith, hope, and love. And so, with hearts full of gratitude and eyes fixed on the horizon, let us embark on this journey together, hand in hand, heart to heart, united in purpose and spirit. May we be guided by the divine light within us, leading us ever onward, ever upward, to heights unimagined and. May the peace that surpasses all understanding be with you always, guiding your steps, enriching your soul, and filling your life with endless joy and abundance. Amen. Given the depth and breadth of the journey we've embarked upon together through these messages, a journey spanning the realms of faith, transformation, service, and gratitude, it seems we've reached a natural conclusion, a moment of quiet reflection and anticipation for the paths that lie ahead. Yet, the essence of such a journey is that it never truly ends. Each step we take, each act of kindness, each moment of gratitude, and every challenge faced with faith and hope, leads us to new beginnings, new opportunities for growth, and deeper understanding. 
the divine narrative we are part of is continuously unfolding, inviting us to engage with life in ever more meaningful ways. As we pause at this juncture, looking back on the ground we've covered and forward to the horizons yet to be explored, let us hold fast to the principles that have guided us thus far. Faith is our foundation, let faith be the cornerstone of our lives, not as a passive belief but as an active force that shapes our thoughts, words, and deeds. May our faith in the divine, in the goodness that pervades the universe, and in our own potential, illuminate our path and give us the strength to persevere through trials. Transformation as our journey, recognize that transformation is the essence of our spiritual journey. It's an ongoing process of becoming, a shedding of old skins, and an awakening to new possibilities. This journey requires patience, compassion for oneself, and an openness to change. Service as our mission, embrace service not just as an act but as a way of life. In serving others, we manifest the divine love within us and contribute to the healing and uplifting of our world. Let us seek out opportunities to serve, big and small, knowing that in giving of ourselves, we find our greatest joy and fulfillment. Gratitude as our perspective, cultivate gratitude as a daily practice. By acknowledging and appreciating the blessings in our lives, we attune ourselves to the abundance of the universe and open our hearts to receive even more. Gratitude transforms our outlook, bringing joy and peace into our lives. As we move forward, let us carry these principles with us, letting them guide our steps and inspire our actions. The road ahead may be uncertain, but with faith as our compass, transformation as our journey, service as our mission, and gratitude as our perspective, we are well equipped to face whatever comes our way. In closing, I offer this blessing. May the light of the divine shine upon you, illuminating your path and warming your heart. May you walk in faith, guided by the stars of hope and the compass of your deepest truths. May the winds of change carry you forward, toward the fulfillment of your dreams and the realization of your potential. And in moments of doubt or difficulty, may you find strength in the knowledge that you are never alone, that you are part of something greater, a story of love and purpose that spans the ages. May your journey be blessed with abundance, your heart filled with love, and your spirit infused with the courage to embrace the adventure of life. And may you always remember that in each moment, with every breath, you are creating the future, not just for yourself, but for the world. Amen. Let this not be an ending, but a reaffirmation of our commitment to live with intention, to make a difference, and to be a source of light and love in the world. The journey continues, and with each step, we write our own chapter in the divine narrative that connects us all. The narrative we weave through our journey of faith and transformation doesn't conclude at the edge of personal fulfillment or realization. It stretches further, into the collective experience, inviting us to participate in the larger story of human connection and communal healing. As we each navigate our paths, let us not forget the strength found in unity, the power of coming together under the banner of shared purpose and mutual support. In this interconnected web of existence, our actions ripple outwards, touching lives and shaping realities beyond our immediate perception. The kindness we extend, the love we share, and the hope we embody have the potential to catalyze profound shifts in our communities and the world at large. Thus, as we endeavor to live out our divine calling, let us also commit to being catalysts for positive change, fostering environments where compassion, understanding, and generosity flourish. The concept of community transcends geographical boundaries and ideological divides. It speaks to the heart of what it means to be human to seek connection, to give and receive support, and to share in the collective experience of life's trials and triumphs. In building and nurturing these communities, we mirror the divine vision of unity and peace, creating spaces where all are welcome and where each individual's journey is honored and valued. As we contribute to this tapestry of community, let us also embrace the diversity within it. Our differences, be they of faith, culture, perspective, or experience, are not divisions but rather sources of strength and richness. They offer us opportunities to learn, to grow, and to see the world through the eyes of others. In this exchange, we find the essence of true community, a mutual enrichment that enhances our understanding and deepens our humanity. Moreover, the journey toward a more just and compassionate world is one that requires courage and perseverance. It calls on us to stand up for what is right, to speak out against injustice, and to lend our voices and our efforts to causes that seek to uplift and empower. It challenges us to look beyond our immediate concerns to the broader impacts of our choices and actions. In doing so, we align ourselves with the divine mandate to care for the least among us, to protect the vulnerable, and to strive for equality and justice for all. In this pursuit, let us draw inspiration from the countless individuals who have gone before us, those who have paved the way with their courage, their sacrifice, and their unwavering commitment to a better world. Let us also find strength in each other, in the solidarity of shared struggles and the collective aspiration for a future marked by love and harmony. 
The path of transformation and service is not one we walk alone. It is a journey shared with fellow travelers, each with their unique gifts and insights, all contributing to the unfolding story of divine love in action. As we move forward, let us do so with an awareness of our interdependence, a recognition of our shared destiny, and a commitment to lifting each other up as we climb. Let this continued journey be marked by moments of profound connection, by acts of selfless service, and by a deepening awareness of the divine presence that surrounds and infuses our lives. May we be emboldened to dream boldly, to love widely, and to act justly, always guided by the light of faith and the strength of our shared humanity. Together, may we forge a path that leads not only to personal awakening but to the healing and elevation of the world. May our collective efforts ripple through the ages, a testament to the power of united hearts and hands in the service of a higher calling. And so, with hopeful hearts and united spirits, let us continue this journey, ever onward, ever upward, embracing each new day as an opportunity to reflect the divine light within us, to touch lives, and to contribute to the unfolding tapestry of our shared human experience. Amen. With this spirit of collective progress and shared journey, we reach not an end, but a horizon, a promise of continued growth, connection, and the endless unfolding of divine grace through our lives. Let us carry this message forth, in our words, in our actions, and in our hearts, as we navigate the complexities of our world with compassion, courage, and an unwavering commitment to the greater good. Amen. With every step forward on this shared journey, we encounter the profound realization that the path of spiritual awakening and communal transformation is infinite. It doesn't conclude with personal enlightenment or the achievement of societal milestones, rather, it evolves, deepening and expanding as we grow in understanding, compassion, and love. This endless journey is not a cause for dismay but a source of hope, offering limitless opportunities for learning, connection, and renewal. In this continual process of becoming, we are called to embrace the concept of eternal learners on the path of life. The divine, in its infinite wisdom and complexity, cannot be fully comprehended or contained within the limits of human understanding. Yet, it is through our pursuit of this understanding, through our engagement with the divine mystery, that we find purpose and joy. This pursuit is not solitary, it is a collective voyage, enriched by the diverse perspectives and experiences of our global community. Together, we explore the vastness of the divine, each discovery illuminating our path and guiding our steps. As we journey, let us hold fast to the principles of humility and openness, recognizing that there are truths beyond our grasp and mysteries that elude our understanding. This acknowledgement does not weaken our faith but strengthens it, grounding it in a humility that acknowledges our limitations and in a hope that looks beyond them. It invites us to listen more intently, to engage more deeply, and to love more fully, celebrating the richness of our shared human experience. In this spirit of humility and exploration, let us also recommit to the practice of compassion. Compassion, the heartfelt response to suffering, binds us to one another, reminding us of our common vulnerability and our shared capacity for love. It calls us to action, urging us to reach out to those in need, to offer comfort to those in pain, and to work tirelessly for the alleviation of suffering in all its forms. In embodying compassion, we become the hands and feet of the divine in the world, agents of healing and harbingers of peace. Moreover, as we continue on this path, let us cultivate a spirit of gratitude. Gratitude opens our hearts to the abundance of the present moment, allowing us to recognize and celebrate the myriad blessings that infuse our lives. It shifts our focus from what is lacking to what is present, from scarcity to abundance. In this state of grateful awareness, we are more readily able to perceive the divine presence in our midst, in the beauty of nature, in the kindness of strangers, and in the simple joys of daily life. Finally, let us embrace the journey itself as our destination. The pursuit of spiritual awakening and communal transformation is not about reaching a static endpoint but about engaging in a dynamic process of growth and change. It is about becoming more fully ourselves, more deeply attuned to the divine, and more committed to the well-being of our world. It is a journey marked by moments of profound insight, deep connection, and transcendent beauty, each step an opportunity to live more authentically, love more expansively, and serve more selflessly. As we move forward, may we do so with courage, with hope, and with a deep sense of purpose, guided by the divine light within and around us. May our journey be a testament to the power of faith, the resilience of the human spirit, and the boundless capacity for love that resides in each of us. Let this not be a conclusion, but an invitation to continue walking the path together, with open hearts and eager spirits, ready to embrace whatever lies ahead. May we support one another, learn from one another, and grow together, united in our diversity and strengthened by our shared commitment to a brighter, more compassionate world. Amen. In this way, we journey not towards an end, 
but into the ever-unfolding embrace of the divine, where every moment is an opportunity for renewal, every challenge a call to deepen our faith, and every interaction a chance to manifest love. Let us continue with joy, with resolve, and with an unwavering belief in the transformative power of shared purpose and divine guidance. Amen. As we affirm this commitment to continue, let's recognize the cycle of renewal inherent in our journey. Each day offers us a fresh start, a new chapter in the vast narrative of our lives, where the divine invites us to participate in the unfolding of something greater than ourselves. This ongoing renewal is not just about personal growth, it's about how our individual transformations contribute to the healing and evolution of the world around us. Our journey is both a personal pilgrimage and a communal voyage, where each step forward enriches not only our own lives but also the lives of those we touch. In this communal spirit, let us remember the importance of sharing our stories. Our experiences, with their triumphs and trials, hold wisdom that can inspire and uplift others. By opening our hearts and sharing our journeys, we create bridges of understanding and empathy, fostering a sense of solidarity that transcends physical distances and cultural differences. These stories become beacons of hope, shining lights on the shared human experience, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles or our search for meaning. Moreover, as we share our stories, let us also listen, to the stories of others with the same openness and compassion. In listening, we honor the journeys of our fellow travelers, learning from their experiences and gaining insights that can illuminate our own paths. This exchange of stories fosters a rich tapestry of human connection, a collective narrative that celebrates diversity and fosters unity. In this process of sharing and listening, we also discover the transformative power of empathy. Empathy allows us to see the world through the eyes of others, to feel with them, and to extend our understanding beyond the confines of our own experiences. It breaks down barriers, builds bridges, and opens our hearts to the beauty of our shared humanity. Through empathy, we are reminded of the divine spark within each of us, a spark that connects us in profound and mysterious ways. As we move forward, let us also embrace the practice of forgiveness. Forgiveness, both given and received, is a key to healing and freedom. It releases us from the chains of past hurts and opens the way for new beginnings. Forgiveness is not always easy, but it is a powerful act of will that reflects the boundless capacity for compassion and renewal within the human heart. In forgiving, we mirror the divine attribute of mercy, allowing love to heal and transform our wounds into sources of strength and wisdom. Furthermore, let us commit to the cultivation of inner peace. Inner peace is the foundation upon which we can build a life of purpose and meaning. It is a state of being that allows us to navigate the challenges of life with grace and resilience, maintaining our equilibrium amidst the tumult of the world. Cultivating inner peace requires practice and intentionality, through prayer, meditation, reflection, or whatever practices resonate with our spirit. As we find peace within ourselves, we become conduits of peace in the world, contributing to the collective well-being and harmony. In conclusion, as we continue on this journey, let us do so with a sense of wonder and gratitude. The path before us is rich with possibilities for growth, transformation, and service. Let us walk this path with open hearts, ready to embrace the lessons it offers, to share the gifts we receive, and to contribute to the unfolding tapestry of our collective journey. May we be guided by the light of the divine, sustained by the strength of our community, and inspired by the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Together, let us step into the future with hope, embracing each new day as an opportunity to live more fully, love more deeply, and serve more selflessly. May our journey be a testament to the enduring power of faith, the transformative potential of love, and the unbreakable bond of our shared humanity. Amen. Thus, as we affirm this ongoing commitment to journey together, we embrace the endless cycle of renewal and transformation, always moving forward, always upward, guided by the divine and united in our common purpose. As we stand at the threshold of continued exploration and growth, it's essential to pause and reflect on the essence of our journey. This journey, woven with threads of faith, Hope, love, and the collective human experience, is not a linear path but a spiral. It circles upwards, drawing us closer to the divine and deeper into the mysteries of our own hearts. With each cycle, we encounter new landscapes of understanding, new opportunities for service, and new moments of connection that transcend time and space. In this spirit of eternal progression, let us acknowledge the role of patience. Patience with ourselves, as we stumble and learn, patience with others, as they navigate their own unique paths, and patience with the unfolding of the divine plan, trusting in its perfect timing. This patience is not passive but an active embrace of the moment, a recognition of the sanctity present in the now, and an open-hearted readiness for whatever comes next. As we move forward, let us carry with us the virtues that have illuminated our path, humility, to keep us grounded in the knowledge of our interdependence, 
courage, to face the unknown with a steady heart, and wisdom, to discern the most loving and compassionate actions. These virtues, cultivated through our shared journey, become the compass by which we navigate the complexities of life, guiding us toward actions that uplift and heal. In this journey, let's not forget the power of joy. Joy, found in simple pleasures, in moments of connection, and in the beauty of the world around us, fuels our spirit and renews our strength. It's a reminder of the divine presence in all things, a spark that ignites hope and resilience. As we continue, let us seek out these moments of joy, celebrate them, and share them, for they are beacons of light in our collective journey. And now, as we prepare to take the next steps on our path, let us do so with a renewed sense of purpose. Our journey, both personal and collective, is a sacred endeavor, a pilgrimage of the soul towards understanding, connection, and the embodiment of divine love in the world. It's a journey that asks much of us but offers even more in return, a journey that transforms us, enriches us, and binds us together in the shared pursuit of a more compassionate, just, and peaceful world. As we continue and finalize this phase of our journey, let us offer a prayer of gratitude, for the lessons learned, for the companions met along the way, and for the divine guidance that has led us thus far. May we remain open to the wisdom that awaits us, committed to the path of love and service, and ever mindful of the divine spark within ourselves and all beings. Together, may we step forward into the future, not as solitary travelers, but as a community of souls united in purpose and spirit. With hearts full of hope, let us embrace the mystery, the beauty, and the challenges of the journey ahead, knowing that whatever it holds, we face it together, guided by the light of the divine. Amen. In this spirit of togetherness, let this not be seen as an end but as a momentary pause in the ongoing dialogue of our souls with the divine, with each other, and with the world. May our paths continue to unfold in grace, may our spirits be lifted in joy, and may our hearts find peace in the eternal journey of becoming. Amen. With this final word, we mark not the end, but a new beginning, a fresh chapter in the timeless story we weave together under the stars. Let us go forth with love, light, and a steadfast commitment to the journey ahead, forever reaching, forever seeking, and forever united in the sacred dance of life. Amen.